What's poppin' all stars? Welcome back to my channel. It's Dame She's Jamaican, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Scorpio rising. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video. So this is gonna be a very, very juicy and informative video. Now, first I'm gonna talk about what the ascendant represents, and then I'm gonna talk about Scorpio rising. So basically, the ascendant is the first house in the birth chart. And the first house represents your physical body and how um, your personality and pretty much the mask you wear for people, like the, the side of them that you want them to see when they first meet you. So that's pretty much what the first house means. It's also dealing with your personal life, personal people, places, and things around you. So anything that you consider you and that you identify with the self much closely. So, having a Scorpio rising, Scorpio is the ruled by the 8th house. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and then a little bit of Pluto. So, having a Scorpio rising, you are a person that appears, when people first meet you, to be very intense, kind of conservative, very closed off, someone that you cannot really mess with when they first see you. Um, Scorpio risings because Mars and Pluto is playing a little bit of an, an effect you can get a lot of like intense vibes coming from you you know what I'm saying like you may have an intense look in your face or just like a resting bitch face or just a face that shows people that you can't just come up and manipulate them or mess with them easily so people are very cautious when they first meet you they may not know if they should say hi or not so people will kind of just leave you alone and depending on if there's another planet in the first house that may change overall but for the most part having a scorpio rising and the rising sign signifying your appearance these are the type of people that may like to wear all black or just have an overall goth or like scary kind of look and it's not like intentional it's just understanding that the first house is how you express yourself and having scorpio the sign of the occult death secrets death astrology um sex everything taboo coming on the first house these people they personally dress like it's taboo like they will dress dark they will dress in things that will associate with um being hidden um playing more behind the scenes and not someone that's so expressive and out there when you first meet them so having a scorpio rising you're very intense like i said you have a intense life um a lot of personal issues in your life very intense you've been through a lot of intense things and um you're just overall the type of person that you like to get to the bottom of things like to get to the surface of things like personally anything in your life you like to find the root cause as to why that happened and you like to really research things a lot of i notice a lot of scorpio rising people are into astrology or metaphysics and that's just because it gives them the peace of mind to be able to understand what's going on because once um scorpios in general once they are able to find the hidden um meaning or motive behind something it will kind of help them to understand the situation much clearer so the first house being scorpio rising these are the type of people that deal with um a lot of intense realities like i said the first house is your personal life so they may have had a um a really rough upbringing or just a background that's taught them a lot, taught them how to um, basically go through the deep, dark depths in life and how to transform and change themselves into someone that's much more stronger. These are the type of people that's gone through things to live to tell the story. Like, 
a lot of personal things in their life has not been easy but it just makes them a stronger person i know a lot of you guys have heard the term the phoenix rising from the ashes and i cannot regurgitate that information enough because it's so true because mars um signifies um even the planet mars signifies passion intense and willpower and drive and so these people have a lot of drive and passion to transform using a little bit of pluto that um, rule scorpio is able to transform their personal lives and transform the things that they've been through they have a lot of motive and willpower to do that like they may see a situation in their life that's not so good and they will know how to go through the depths to learn um the specific issues and problems and they'll know how over time how to heal themselves and how to change and how to see the overall situation from um a larger clear view so these are the type of people they've been through a lot of stuff and they have a lot of wisdom um, they have a lot of esoteric knowledge, meaning they really know how to see things from a much, much, much deeper level and not just a, on a surface kind of level. So Scorpio Risings are very powerful people. They have the ability to influence people. Um, on a mass level or just on a small level they just know how to carry themselves in a way that makes people take them take them very seriously so that's one thing to understand about having pluto about having a scorpio rising and because a little bit of pluto rules scorpio these people can have a lot of deep 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 um secrets or um, things that they don't necessarily share with people when they first meet them and that's why they may seem so mysterious you know like you may be into things that is taboo and not the common everyday society will be able to talk about and so that's why you seem a little bit reserved and to yourself is because you're such a deep person and your mind really thinks about a lot of deep shit that you're not the type of person to just have regular chit chat with people like a Gemini ascendant where they just can just talk to a bunch of different people and, and not really care about the substance of the conversation. You're more so the type of person that really wants to get to know very deep um, things about people and it's personally something that you hold as um, importance is to personally dive into very deep esoteric knowledge and about yourself and of others and the world and this is what um this is how you personally choose to express yourself is someone that has a lot of esoteric knowledge and someone that chooses to use that information to change themselves and others for the better and yeah as a Scorpio rising, I would say that if you are dealing with issues as far as like um, even like drugs and alcohol, like these are issues that if you feel like it's a problem, it's something that you have the power to actually change on your own because Pluto signifies transformation and change. So these are things in the long run that you will be able to use your Mars, use the, the Mars that rules Pluto in order to get a specific grip over. Now I would say like if you have another planet in the first house, the energies will change and become a lot more different rather than just it being the Scorpio rising because the rising sign Scorpio in this case is just the characteristics but if you have an actual planet in that house the planet is taking up more of your first house so keep that in mind so yeah that's pretty much what I have for this video if you felt like I missed any information and you want to add your two cents go ahead and comment down below or comment down below a star emoji if you've reach to the end of the video thank you guys so much like i said in my intro you guys are all stars so don't forget to take pride in understanding um that you know 
about your astrological birth chart because to love thyself is to know thyself. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in another video. Mwah. Peace.